I was going through a very tough time in my life. And instead of putting it on social media, I would take the time to sit with my notebook and write a line each for each. So it's kind of like really stitched with each update, post, or that stuff that I didn't put online, I put it into this song. Once that song was mixed, mastered, and produced, I realized it had a masterpiece. And I wanted to provide an album for that song to live on. I, I, was, I got current, this album. You know, I think I was challenged by Eugene to just get current, bro. You feel me? Like, put some stuff that sounds current, even though Eugene's sound is a true Southwestern sound. I'm collecting groups of talented people who I'm collaborating with. Technically, at the moment, I am collaborating with people because I have some super talented producers who I feel like have seen the light, but I feel like, fuck it, man, when Ziggy do a project with you, you're going to get hit up. I'm going to take your brand to the next level. Oh, baby, I got you. I want to work with Akeem again. I also, I wanted to work with each individual member of YPC. X-Ray, because we just, these are people who I fucks with. Sick. I also want to work with Osaze, who's another talented artist as well, too. I also would love to work with Draven or Irie. Cody, Cody the, philo the philosopher. I would love to work with him as well. The man's just good people. If I'm thinking about working with another vocalist, I'll probably leave some layers blank or, or the whole hook blank. blank. If, if it's somebody like Irie, the man can sing. The drummer from the Rare Individuals has also produced the track as well too. Rare Individuals being a very prominent group of artists out of El Paso, Texas as well too. I also want to work with the Kim, the producer, because he's a beast. So my collaborations don't really include anybody else who's outside of that. Um, at the moment, right now, people call me whatever they want to call me. I love the guy. I like his brand. My dream collaboration right now is probably Evander Graham. You know what I'm saying? Just because I believe quintessentially, as an artist and as a rapper, he represents the Southwest. And then if I could have a dream R&B collab, it would be Khalid. You know what I mean? Because I feel like he represents the, the, the peak of what putting a city on can be. Me and like, he's not a rapper putting El Paso on. He's like a super monumentally selling R&B artist yanking a whole city, who already has a presence with EDM. So I think that it's already a hub of music. We just have to include our genre into it and let that mechanize, which should in turn make for some very fun parties in Phoenix. Visuals, I can say, is not my responsibility, in all honesty. And that's my strength as an artist, is my team. I know that, we, I think that my best friend loves what he does, you know what I'm saying? I think he's an engine for this company, but I also think that it holds a lot of responsibility and weight on him. And so I like for my music and my videos to be that drink of water for him creatively. The videos will be his visual interpretation of my music. And I think that's what makes me unique. And I think that's what makes me shooters only. But I think that within our Southwest, there's so many people ready to pop that people say, fuck it, fuck the notoriety, fuck being recognized. I'm recognizing it like it is right now. So I treat shooters only like Louis Vuitton. It, because, because I believe that's where it will go. Well, I think my, my favorite part is like the genius of Beacon Hill. And it has for sure taken my stuff to another level. I want to credit all the people who are working with my stuff. I want to credit everybody who's touched my music. I just think that Alondo is able to pull Ziggy's sound out of the vocals. And I think that's where where you're starting to, see, I think people are gonna be very, very excited. Especially if they've been rocking with me since like the Cool Chronicles, Live from the Lab One, Black Tiger Ballet, and then now this, I think that they will actually flip out, bro, because this is the best quality I've ever had, you know? I've like ingratiated myself in the culture of the Southwest, you know? Austin Charles, my champion, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I just wanna let you guys know, I appreciate you guys. Uh, one of my favorite artists once said, sorry for the wait, <laughs> you feel me? So uh, that was Lil Wayne, just in case, <laughs> just in case y'all were wondering. For the you, the viewers who've been rocking with me in the Southwest for a long time, this is something that we've been waiting on for a while and something that will validate the wait, guys.